Hey guys, it's me, Evan, and we have another awesome, cool, fantastic, super amazing update from Six Flags Great America. And look at this, I got a drone. So you can see the whole park. It looks pretty cool. Can't see much of Max Force because of where I could fly to stay within um, legal boundaries. But if I zoom in here, you can see absolutely nothing because the camera on my drone isn't a very high resolution. However, if you squint, you can see that there are some construction vehicles and some footers that we will take a look at a little bit later. The place where I was flying my drone was right next to the employee parking lot, uh, which Six Flags usually uses to store um, parts for coasters, like they stored Shockwave there after it was torn down. But to no avail, I did not find any of the supports that were missing, and no one has been able to find it. Now as we transition abruptly to on the ground and in the parking lot, I was able to get up close and personal with the track without getting yelled at. You can see here that the rest of the launch track has arrived. Um, you can see the curving part that will disengage the launch dog from the bottom of the train. Um, you can see that there are also brake pieces for the uh, last half of that weird last element. Um, going into the station. Um, you can see the mounting points for the eventual fin brakes that will go on there. There's some transfer track um, and then there's a lot of tubing uh, slash I don't know big pipes for uh, the compressed air that will run this coaster. Also over here are some rebar cages and unfinished rebar that they're going to presumably use to make more footers for either the coaster itself or the station or the transfer track or whatever. As we move into the park, we can see that there have been a lot more footers poured, which is a good sign, even though that we even though we don't have any actual supports yet. Um, Footers are the first thing that need to go on the ground and they need a cure, but usually they have all the footers poured for everything before they actually start building the coaster, which is kind of a problem because not all the footers have been poured. As you can see, there are a bunch of cages still back here in the storage. Um, so I don't think that we're going to go vertical anytime soon. Well, anytime soon relatively. Um, I could see it going vertical within like the next month or so, but they still have a lot of work to do to get those uh, footers installed and ready to go. My footage doesn't really show how many footers there are, but what it does show is how many construction vehicles there are. There's equipment everywhere and they're definitely ready to pump this uh, coaster out in the near future. Thank you for watching this Max Force construction update and definitely subscribe for more drone updates from Six Flags Great America.